Let's, yeah. let's get on the next topic because we only got 15 minutes left. The fall of POG is something I wanted to talk about. This is a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I put you on. I kind of feel bad for putting you on to the channel right right when all the foolishness started happening. As soon as I put you on, they just go crazy. <laughs> for anybody who don't hey. know, MC, Chris Jones started a channel about four years ago. They was working out, you know, going going out to eat, just having fun, being boys, and then somehow starting like 2013, Vince just disappears. And that, next thing you know, like up to maybe a month ago, Vince came back talking about Chris and the, Chris is avoiding me. I can't work out with him no more. Da, 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 da. And Chris basically says, hey, I've been grinding. I put out a video every week. I've got two channels now because Chris made a different channel. And basically, as of this week, there's no more Vince. Vince has been officially deleted like Chris Benoit. <laughs> What's your response? <laughs> oh, man. You know who it is. Chris Jones. Forever getting pumped cheeks. <laughs> nah, man. I'm going to change the intro. Yeah, like, uh, it's funny. Like you said, you just put me on. I think it was just like maybe about a month or two ago. And I just see it. I'm expecting just some workout videos. I'm getting these, these WWE type monologues. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, it's pretty funny, though. But uh, I just, I'll just say this. I mean, it's pretty obvious that, like, Vince's story didn't even sound good. You know, he's saying stuff like, I call Chris, and he'll say, let's meet up at uh, 10 in the morning. And I'm sitting in the gym waiting all the way up to 9 p.m. Like, nah, nobody's really going <laughs> to sit there and wait almost 12 hours for somebody just to shoot some workout videos. <laughs> but, you um... work <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. Uh, I mean, look, man, like, basically, it was, like, uh, I look back at some of the old videos, and uh, it was obviously a time where Vince, he let the internet trolls, like, people, you don't even know who these people are. You let these people get in your head and really, like, hurt you to the point where you don't even want to do videos at all. I mean, it's one thing if you're just doing it for a hobby, but this man has a six-figure career off of We can... (laughs) drive a Mercedes, and he let some trolls stop him from doing that. I mean, I think that's kind of ludicrous. But, I mean, as you can see, though, like, Chris Jones, he started his own channel, The Pump Chases. That has over 200,000 subscribers. And Vince, he started his own channel, The Swole Nerd, and it only has about 25,000. So he got about a little bit more than 10% of the amount of subscribers that Chris has. So it's obvious who was bringing the people to the channel, who was putting the work in. You could see it from when they separated. Um, right. You know, Vince, he deleted them, like, just like how Hulk Hogan got deleted from the WWE. So I think since he's going to be working at Walgreens or something, or working at Walmart, <laughs> um, putting a highlighter on the receipts. So what's your thoughts? <laughs> Man, I, I think it, it is, like, what you said is, is the base, but I do think there's other things going on in the background. Kind of, first of all, you got the welfare fraud situation. I know Vince was living with his mom's when the channel started, and he said he couldn't get the money in his name because they didn't, they didn't want to get kicked off the county benefits or whatever. So I think I think that's that may be one of the reasons behind the beef. It's like, hey, man, we put everything in your name because my family was messed up, and then when the money got good, then you want to run off and make pump chases. So, you know, I think maybe that could have been one of the things behind the beef. And then again, POG is kind of Vince G's creation, even though it wasn't legally in his name because of the Section 8 stuff. Like, he's the one who approached Chris, and he's the one who told Chris, you need to do a YouTube channel, let's do one. But I think Vince kind of, kind of, he, may, he kind of overthought it. You know, he kind of overthought the whole, Thing. Like you got to get the stuff legally in your name. The passport and everything should be going to your phone if you created the channel. So Chris kind of got one over on him on that. And then again, Chris on camera, as Vince said, he knew the channel was going to take off, and take off is what it did. So you make making six figures a year, and you can't even work out. So that that's the point. That's the point where it starts to get weird, right? You're making six figures a year, and you can't work out. First of all, you were supposed to film the camera for Chris, and you were supposed to jump in there every now and then. And then Chris goes and gets, gets his girlfriend. He gets a, a 
tripod. Now he's doing everything by himself. He doesn't need you anymore. So why is Chris, you know, going to keep you around? So for me, I, I just don't know what's going on, man. I'm kind of lost. What are, you, what are your thoughts on, like, on that whole situation as to why they were, why, why for two years you would, you would just not work out? And you see your Man. partner doing all this extra work, just going to the next, taking the channel to the next level. <laughs> and like, if you remember from the video, <laughs> this was one of the funniest parts of uh, Chris's his rant. <laughs> he was like, look, I'm not going to tell y'all what happened, but basically I'm just going to tell y'all what happened. It was a relationship issue. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing to me. And he was like, come on, man. I was about to go to Denny's and celebrate my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, <laughs> but oh, yeah. uh, no. Chris, he let I mean, pardon me, Vince. He let the trolls get to him. You know, he let his whatever was going thing. on with his girlfriend. Well, good. This is for for Vince saying that the trolls let. I think Vince is just lazy. Let me put it out there. I don't think Vince is working out. I think Chris was really breaking the dude off with free checks because maybe legally, like, I think legally they're tied together somehow in some deal because, you know, they got mad sponsorship deals. And then for Vince to come on the channel and be like, well, I stopped working out because, you know, Chris told me not to worry about it. And then Chris told me to make the, the hater video because he did a video where he had the drop top bins and it got mad dislike. <laughs> he got like 10,000 dislike. <laughs> oh, Chris told me to make that video for the haters. And then uh, I go to the gym. I call Chris, and I'm, I've been trying to get in contact with him for two years. I can't even get in contact with Chris. Why the fuck you lying? Why the fuck you lying? Oh, my God. Stop talking lying. That's what I think about Vince. He's lying. Vince is lying. Yeah. He's just being lazy. He, don't, he didn't want to put in the work, and Chris is wrong for paying him. they both wrong. He didn't if you look at it, he could have went to his lawyer immediately. But now, if you look at it, like look at like Chris, he's beast mode. He has a physique of greatness. Vince does. He has a physique of uh, I don't know. He steak sub. I don't know. Like uh, just like you said, he was like, why do people say it's physiques of greatness? It's just a name. <laughs> Chris, it's just a name. Just a name. Because he goes to the gym and. Really goes beast mode. He he really tastes a little pump. <laughs> so it's a man. grind. Working out is hard to do, especially on days when you don't want to. And Chris, and Chris, for whatever you people want to say about it, whether he's natural or not natural, you know, people are skeptical about that. He, you got to put in the work. You can't just sit at home, do steroids, and go to Denny's, and you're gonna get big. Like no, you still got to go to the gym for a couple hours and, and get that work in. And yeah. I think Vince was just sitting at home going to Denny's and getting fat. He didn't yeah. care about YouTube. He's like, yo, I'm going to get these checks anyway. Why should I even work out? Man. Yeah, some people, they and said they that Chris. they 30 minutes away. Yeah, he said that uh, Chris, he just, um, he changed up because of the money. But I think anybody, it'd be tough if you're doing all the work and you're still paying somebody six figures. I, I don't care who it is. Nobody deserves to get paid that for not doing anything. For two years? See, there's, there's something else going on for the two years makes me skeptical of Chris. Like two years, I'm not gonna pay nobody for two. For two years, I might have to come see you or something. If they only live 30 minutes apart and they can't work out and do no business together for two years, and they had this company that or this partnership that's making over half a million dollars over over those two years. Like, no, nah, something else is going on. Chris is paying him, or or he or Chris is scared of something. And that's why he keeps paying Vince. That's what I was thinking. Now, what that? What could that be? I have no idea. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, so many. He knows that he, he breaks in the. Um, he knows he breaks in the different gyms at night and still protein shakes. <laughs> that's what it is. Exactly that video. Yeah, that video of Chris when he went to New Jersey. That showed kind of the real character. Like Chris is not doing something by the book. You know, there's something going on with POG, and that's why he's paying Vince. And I don't know we'll ever get the truth as to what they're really doing. Like, people, some people think he's not natural. Some people think other things are going on. But 
whatever it is, it's eventually going to come out. You know, Vince G is eventually going to man up and do a video and say, you know what, this is what I really think of Chris. This is how, you know, he's going to, like, somebody's going to do a video and show him text messages and stuff. I'm telling you that video is coming. Somebody editing text messages right now. One of those, Chris or Vince, somebody editing text messages right now. Like, this is going to get, this is only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. 